and I think, you know, we just had great attention to detail and practice, and everybody was locked in. You know, I told you the outcome would take care of itself if we just practice well. Do you think you got a finger on that tip? I definitely did. I think the whole stadium seen that when they put it on the jumbotron. But it's okay, though, you know. I, hey, I, I'm not a ref. So. The defense looked completely different in the beginning of the game than it has been in the past couple of weeks. How did y'all kind of – Brian Kelly said y'all need to mentally prepare better. How did y'all get to that point where y'all were mentally prepared? Um, definitely. We made an emphasis on starting faster in practice, just getting after it. And we you know as a defense, we always said, they can't score on this first drive. We're tired of teams coming in here and just start scoring on the first drive and we slowing down. So we made that an emphasis and, you know, we were successful. Play. How long have you all practice that play? Uh, I'd say every week. Every week. It's a two point play, and Coach Kelly didn't have it down in his mind and not go two point after that. So it was a good good overall play overall. Even the touchdown, too, before that, I mean, it seemed like you had kind of a defender on your back. And to make, in that moment, uh, just what was kind of going through your mind as the ball came? I mean, yeah, that's another play we ran a bunch in practice this week because what they do in the red zone. but. Um, I'm just glad Jaden trusted me with the ball, and he, he did it in practice, so why not throw it up in the game, and he put a perfect ball in the corner and just kind of go up and make a play. Making those two big plays, and obviously talking about good freshman, just talking about what was that like? Crazy, crazy, yeah. When, definitely when I caught that last one, I mean, the place was rocking. I couldn't hear anything. My legs kind of got numb, but um, it was definitely a great experience and great atmosphere. Do you feel like the whole crowd was coming on you so you stood up? Yeah, I kind of, yeah, I kind of just fell down and let everybody jump on me. So, but yeah, I felt yeah, I definitely felt the crowd. Going. How many times you run that two point conversion in practice? I'd say every week. Mm -hmm. We we practice two point uh, plays every week, so I'd say every You're week. Pretty confident of that when you play yeah. motion. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was it was third down, and I was like, we got to get the first down. It was a situation where we had to score to advance the game. So I was my mind. I'm you're gonna have to kill me to get me down. Uh, from Florida State to now, the progression is good. It seems like each week, even after the Tennessee thing, mm -hmm. there was stuff that you continued to do better. Mm -hmm. How much do you just revel in the team's progress and just the team is just like, hey, we're continuing to improve each week? Right. And we have a process that we, we stick to religiously. Coach Kelly is very adamant on that. And I believe that just sticking to that process and adding the mental goals into it and the mental clarity that we that we change our mindsets and the way that we come into games, I think the consistency of that shows on the field. What can you say about Jaden's growth as a leader throughout this season? I think Jaden has been a leader since day one. Uh, as, as far as his growth, I think he's just been growing amazingly, obviously. But uh, I think he's been a great leader since day one. Jaden, or Josh, sorry, yeah, what can good. you say about the way this offense has just developed over the year? Now you guys are in control mm -hmm. of the SEC West. Could you see that coming after both first loss to Florida State? Oh, uh, we, we didn't. Uh, of course, the first loss to Florida State was a bummer to everybody, but we never lost uh, our goals and we never doubted ourselves and we always stay consistent in knowing that we could do our, do our thing on the field. It's the moments you live for. Uh, I knew I was prepared for this mentally and physically. I was just going, about, it was just going out there and doing it. I know you might still be processing things, but where does this game and this atmosphere rank in your career? Uh, it was number one. <laughs> you know, another time was, you know, when we beat Oregon my freshman year. Um, but, you know, nothing, nothing means more than this of making history, you know, um, on LSU, you know, top 10 ranked uh, game, uh, you know, a lot on the line, so, you know, it means a lot. Jay, what did you think when you came in to go for two? I was happy, you know, put the ball in my hand, you know, either he's going to go good or he's going to go bad. Um, you know, we didn't want any, uh, oh, I wish we would have called this, I wish we would called that. You know, we're going to go out there and end the game. And I knew as soon as I rolled out, I see Mason open, I was like, oh, it's game over. What was the actual name of the call? Uh, I, I can't. Uh, <laughs> We're never going to hear it. Yeah, you true, true. Uh, I mean, I don't know if I want to say that. <laughs> yeah, 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 I don't know if I want to say How that. How often though. have you guys run it during the season? That play? Uh, that we practice it a lot. Yeah, I mean, this is the only time we really called it. Okay. So, Two more for Jaden, guys. If I, if I had to tell you that you were really, that y'all was going to be able to like control your own destiny going forward to be able to play for the SC Championship, in your first year at LSU, what would you have said? I would have believed you. <laughs> I mean, I knew what I was capable of doing coming in here. I knew what this team was capable of doing. Uh, coach Kelly is a great coach. It was, it was going to take time. Uh, you know, everything wasn't going to happen uh, right at the jump. We wish it would have. 
Um, but, you know, it's going to take time. Uh, but I would have believed you because I had the confidence in the team and confidence moving forward. We're getting better each and every week. You knew the talent that was coming in. Yeah, for sure. You know, when I, when I decided to come here, I, I looked at the receiver room, looked at the O-line, uh, everything. Even the defense, I knew that we had talent. Uh, Coach Kelly knows what he's doing. Uh, so you never credit a man that knows how to win football games. Even the last one, yes. conversion, obviously you, you scored on the first play of y'all's overtime period. What did you see? Was it a design run in that situation, or was it more of a scramble? No, nah, it was a read option. Uh, I mean, it's funny. I was actually on the sideline. Uh, I was talking to uh, Dean, um, you know, our quarterback assistant, and he was telling me about the play. I was like, well, if they call that play, I'm going to end the game. Uh, hopefully, you know, they had kicked the field goal by then. You know, that was before they, they scored, but I was like, I'm going to end the game. Um, and, you know, the end crash, you know, I pulled it. Mason Taylor and Josh Williams had great blocks. You know, it was just me and the safety from there.